Hello everyone! We made the most of the beautiful weather by setting up the barbecue on the towpath. Even Jerry enjoyed it. As you'd expect, we had plenty of food to go around. Little did we know that this was going to be our last peaceful moment on the Kennet and Avon. We set off early with a plan to get as far towards Reading as possible. We were especially interested in Monkey Marsh Lock. Listed as an ancient monument by English heritage, Monkey Marsh Lock is one of only two remaining turf-sided locks on the Kennet Navan. Originally, there were over a dozen. Sided is perhaps not the best description, as they're really covered in shrubbery rather than square patches of turf, as we might imagine it today. Blocks like this take more water to fill and therefore take longer to pass through. Yet there's something fascinating about them, they're just so different. As the lock fills, the greenery on the edges submerges only returning to the surface when the lock is drained once more. Due to the increase in maintenance effort, most turf-sided locks were phased out and replaced with brick-lined locks a long time ago. Only Monkey Marsh Lock and Garston Locks remain like this on the Kennet and Avon. As we travelled, the engine started to splutter and cough. Something was wrong. We checked the weed hatch in case there was anything around the prop that might be causing us a problem. Apart from a little bit of weed, there was nothing there. We opened the hatches and had a look. Was it the oil? The fuel? Something else? At this point, we didn't know what the problem was. We managed to get the boat to chug along, deciding that it was better to keep going than stop now. After all, we hadn't travelled very far 
and really wanted to get to Reading. We spotted a struggling moorhen on the side of the canal, its beak and feet wrapped in fishing wire. So with a careful bit of manoeuvring, we managed to rescue the bird and cut it free of the wire. Our way was completely blocked by a tree that had fallen across the canal. We found ourselves with a choice. Either moor up and call an end to our trip here and now, or find a saw and chop enough of the tree away so that we could pass. Trevor made friends at a nearby house and soon came back with a saw in hand. And so he set about trimming branches. Pretty soon it was a whole team effort, someone on the tiller, someone on the bank putting the chopped branches out of the way and everyone else putting their all into chopping wood. They say that having a holiday on the canal is one of the most relaxing things you can do. Not on this trip, not by a long shot. If you enjoyed this video, why not tap the like button and also subscribe so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. It really means a lot to us.